Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about fast ultrasound reporting. FAST stands for Focused Assessment with Sonography for Trauma. It is an emergency ultrasound performed in cases of trauma such as motor vehicle accidents or falls. You will learn how to write FAST ultrasound reports. The reports will include the patient information, findings, impression and recommendations. Our first example is regarding pericardial effusion. This is a report on a patient with pericardial effusion due to motor vehicle accident. Patient information, age 45, gender male, medical history, known case of hypertension. It is important to write the time of ultrasound it is very important to write this time in a fast scan report. The date is January 8, 2024, and the time of scan is 10.30 a.m. Clinical indication, suspected cardiac trauma, post-vehicular accident, complaints of chest pain and shortness of breath. After that, you can write the findings. Subxiphoid view, a large anechoic fluid collection observed in the pericardial sac, approximately 2 cm in depth surrounding the cardiac chambers. Other views, parasternal and apical views reconfirm the presence of pericardial effusion. No signs of pneumothorax or abdominal fluid noted. Quantification, approximate fluid volume is difficult to quantify but appears significant. This is the impression. There is a significant pericardial effusion noted. No immediate signs of cardiac tamponade observed but clinical correlation is recommended given the potential for rapid progression. The heart chambers are not compressed at the moment of examination. You can also add another section that is recommendations and you can advise further management and interventions in this section. The pericardial effusion is considerable and warrants urgent attention. Recommend immediate cardiology consultation for potential pericardiosynthesis. Close monitoring for signs of cardiac tamponade is advised. Further echocardiography could be beneficial for a more detailed cardiac assessment. Patient stable during the examination. Vital signs to be closely monitored given the potential for rapid hemodynamic changes. This is an example report regarding abdominal pelvic fluid. The patient is 30 years old, gender female, no significant past medical history. Date and time, 8 January 2024, 2 p.m. Clinical indication, Evaluation for internal bleeding following a motor vehicle collision, patient presenting with abdominal pain and hypotension. These are the findings. Right upper quadrant, no free fluid observed in the hepatorenal space, that is Morrison's pouch. Left upper quadrant, trace amount of hypoepoic fluid noted in the splenorenal recess. Suprapubic view, small amount of free fluid seen in the rectouterine pouch, that is pouch of Douglas. Pericardial view, the subxiphoid view, pericardium appears normal with no evidence of effusion. This is the impression. Minimal fluid accumulation in the left upper quadrant and pelvis.
pelvis, potentially indicative of internal bleeding, absence of fluid in the right upper quadrant and around the pericardium. These are the recommendations. The presence of fluid in the splenorenal recess and the pelvis, although small, is concerning in the context of trauma. Recommend further diagnostic imaging such as a CT scan for a more comprehensive evaluation of internal injuries, close monitoring of the patient's vital signs and hemodynamic status is advised. Surgical consultation may be considered depending on the patient's clinical evolution and additional imaging results. Patient remains hemodynamically stable but reports increasing abdominal discomfort. Continued observation and reassessment are essential. Here is another case of abdominal pelvic fluid. The patient is 52 years old, male. The date and time are 9th January 2024, 11.15 a.m. Clinical indication, evaluation for potential intra-abdominal bleeding following a fall, complaints of right upper quadrant pain. These are the findings, right upper quadrant, moderate amount of free fluid observed in Morrison's pouch, suggestive of intra-abdominal bleeding. Left upper quadrant, no free fluid detected in the splenorenal recess. Subphrenic space, small collection of hypoechoic fluid noted in both right and left subphrenic spaces, more pronounced on the right. Pelvic view, no free fluid observed in the rectovesical pouch. Pericardial view, no evidence of pericardial effusion. This is the impression. The presence of fluid in Morrison's pouch and subphrenic spaces, particularly on the right, is highly suggestive of intra-abdominal bleeding, possibly related to liver injury or rupture. No fluid accumulation noted in the pelvis or around the heart. These are the recommendations. Given the findings of free fluid in the abdomen, urgent surgical consultation is recommended. Further diagnostic modalities such as CT scan may be necessary for a more detailed evaluation of the extent and source of bleeding. Continuous monitoring of patient's hemodynamic status is crucial. Now we have another example of abdominal pelvic fluid, age 38, male, with no known allergies or chronic illnesses. Date and time are 10th January 2024, 3.45 p.m. Clinical indication, assessment for internal bleeding, post-blood trauma, blood abdominal trauma, patient presenting with pelvic discomfort and hypotension. These are the findings, right upper quadrant, no free fluid observed in Morrison's pouch, left upper quadrant is also normal, subphrenic space, both of them are normal, pelvic view, the rectovesical pouch, Moderate fluid collection seen in the rectovesical pouch, indicative of possible intra-abdominal hemorrhage. Pericardial view is also normal. This is the impression. The presence of fluid in the rectovesical pouch suggests the possibility of intra-abdominal or pelvic bleeding. Absence of fluid in the right upper quadrant left upper quadrant, and subphrenic spaces. Recommendations Given the ultrasound findings, the patient should be closely monitored for signs of hemodynamic instability, 
Additional imaging such as a CT scan is recommended for a more comprehensive assessment of potential internal injuries and to identify the source of bleeding. Surgical consultation may be necessary depending on the patient's clinical progression and further imaging results. Patient's blood pressure and heart rate should be continuously monitored. Blood transfusion may be considered if hemodynamic instability persists or worsens. Now we have a report for extended fast exam in which the lungs are also scanned. Here is a case of pneumothorax. Patient information, age 29, female, medical history of asthma. Date and time are 9th January 2024, 9.30 a.m. Clinical indication, evaluation for possible pneumothorax following a high impact motor vehicle collision, patient complaining of acute onset shortness of breath and chest pain. These are the findings, anterior chest wall, bilateral, white hemithorax, absence of lung sliding and B lines, presence of barcode sign in M mode, suggestive of pneumothorax. The barcode sign is seen in M mode in pneumothorax. Left hemithorax, normal lung sliding with visible B lines, no evidence of pneumothorax. Other views were all normal. This is the impression. The ultrasound findings indicate the presence of a pneumothorax in the right hemithorax, normal sonographic signs in the left hemithorax, abdominal and pelvic regions do not show signs of free fluid, and no pericardial effusion is observed. Here are the recommendations. Immediate management of the right-sided pneumothorax is necessary, which may include needle decompression or chest tube placement depending on its size and patient's clinical status. Further evaluation with a chest x-ray or CT scan is recommended for confirmation and to assess the extent of the pneumothorax. Continuous monitoring of respiratory status and vital signs is crucial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.